All right, moving on to other news. According to the state dashboard, a little over a third of Missouri residents have started the COVID-19 vaccination process. But a lot of people are still on the fence. In today's Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow talks with the doctor to address vaccine misconceptions. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. Joining me now is Dr. Margaret Day, a family medicine physician at MU Healthcare's Keen Family Medicine, and she is co-chair of our COVID-19 vaccine committee. I know I live in a rural area that a lot of people have stepped back and said, I'll wait and see. Who is eligible for the vaccine now? Who should be stepping forward? Yeah, so all age 16 and older are now eligible for the vaccine. So we encourage you to sign up to get vaccinated. There are a lot of misconceptions, a lot of reasons why people might be hesitant. Some think it may be expensive. Is there a charge? There is no cost to the vaccine. Your insurance may be billed for an administration fee, but there's no out-of-pocket cost. So even for those who don't have health insurance, cost should not be a barrier. It's pretty quick at our Furrow Field vaccination site. You'll have to take some time, make a commitment to have it. But what about uh, taking days off after your second dose? Do we really expect it to interfere with our daily life, the side effects? Yeah, for most people, no. Uh, the vast majority of people experience some vaccine site reactions. You know, it's sore where you got your vaccination, for example. But uh, some people do experience fever or body aches or feeling kind of tired for one to three days. They completely resolve, and it certainly is a much safer approach um, than being at risk for severe COVID infection. I have a father in assisted living. I've been vaccinated. He's been vaccinated. I know I feel so much better about seeing him and uh, feeling confident confident about, about that time visiting. What do you see in the future? Is that a benefit of getting the vaccine? It is, yes. There's guidance now that, you know, small groups of completely vaccinated individuals, say one household going over to another household, um, even without masks now, is thought to be a very low risk situation. So uh, we are starting to see, you know, evidence of as more people get vaccinated, uh, the closer we can get back to uh, a new normal. We appreciate that. Thank you very much, Dr. Margaret Day. And with Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health has been sponsored by MU Healthcare. For more tips on talking about vaccination with your loved ones, you can visit the MU Healthcare Facebook page. Dr. Laura Morris will answer questions there live today at 2 o'clock. Well, we're going to have uh, another check of that forecast for you. Coming up after the break, and Tony's going to have Sunrise Sports. We've got plenty going on here to uh, stick around for just a couple of minutes and we'll be right back. There's still a little bit of mist hitting our Scarlet Slimmer Sky Cam in Jefferson City. Your time is 618. News for Columbia, Jefferson City, and Mexico. KRCG 13 Live at Sunrise will be right back.